in there is one thing that is as scary as equivalent to skydiving then that's being asked to tell me something about yourself by group of strangers in a formal setting you will get 10 steps process which will help to answer this trick question in any job interview hey this is anita you are watching english times so please press this subscribe button and give us a thumbs up to like our work in this video i'm gonna give you first 10 step process to be followed any job and selection interview second rules that go along with each steps third common mistakes to avoid fourth stock phrases if english is not your first language at the end there will be sample introduction that you can use with your own customization tell me something about yourself this question comes in a different form it has walk me through your background take us through your resume but whatever it is this is a trick question because the interviewers asking us tell us about ourselves in fact they know everything about ourselves by seeing that resume so exactly what are they asking us to tell them they are asking us for two things number one your attitude towards your work that will tell them what kind of person you are and second are you a good fit for the job which tell them what will you contribute to the company so you need to catch their attention and keep them interested chances are they have had full day looking at hundreds of applications that look exactly like you here's the opportunity to prove to them that you are best suited for the job let's start the 10 steps process category 1 is all about who are you first is greeting formal greetings are highly recommended for example good morning good afternoon good evening good morning up to 12 noon good afternoon after 12 till 4 30 after 4 30 you can use good evening the rules to be followed are smile be confident and make a good eye contact common mistake that what you should avoid by greeting hey hi what's up and also formally between the good morning good afternoon good evening step number two thank you for the opportunity thank you for shortlisting me for the final interview or you can say thank you for this opportunity to talk about myself this point is optional depending on the situation you can either say now this does create not only good first impression but it will also help both you and the interviewer relax a bit step three your name simply you can use i am anita my name is anita the general rule to be considered is to smile to be proud of your name and to enunciate it clearly common mistake that can be your roadblock is using myself anita or I am Miss Anita. Salutations like Miss, Mrs, Mr. You should avoid it. Now, you must be wondering, should I use my full name? The answer is a big yes. As your first name sounds a little casual. Let's go to category two, where you have to prove why are you qualified. Let's observe step four. This step is valid for the experienced professionals. This talks about the position and the company work experience. Here you can talk about your current position, company name, years of experience, awards that you received so far, major responsibilities and the impact. For the last five years, I have been a sales manager at company name, leading a small sales team and our team was awarded the best team of the year. For two years in a row, I have worked closely with clients and built some key relationships. I am an HR manager at company name, looking after the key functions of recruitment, compensation, learning and development. I have 
our five years of experience in this field and we have been able to increase our employee productivity by 8% during this week. Which tells about the difference which you have made in your previous company. The following rules you must keep in mind is to sound enthusiastic. Don't sound pompous like, hey, hi, or I'm energetic. Oh, I know everything. Do not use like this. Try to make it a sound that you are a good team player. Third, tell them something over and above resume. Last, give proofs for your claims to make it credible or believable. Now, I often get this question. I start with most recent position and go backward or other way around. The answer is always start with your most recent position and go backward only if it covers highly relevant or most important thing. Otherwise, your resume covers all of that. The five is all about the qualification. If you are a fresher, you cannot have step number four. Hence, jump right away into step number five. I am a recent MBA with prior experience in the pharmaceutical sector. I have completed a bachelor in mass media degree with a specialization in public relations and corporate communication. I am currently pursuing a five years integrative law program at the name of school with a focus on cyber law. Common mistake that I am an HR from MMA school. Mm -hmm. If you are a fresher and only telling about your college and degree is not enough. This is the time to add. I was part of the research project on how modern technologies change the way of teaching in the future where we work with an ed tech company to evaluate the efficiency of some tech based teaching intervention. For achievement oriented mini stories. You can also talk about training programs courses and other experiences you might have had during graduation. Now the question is should I mention my CGPA as I am just a fresher? Well, normally I would avoid it but if you really want to highlight your academic achievements how about I have consistently been the top one or five person in the class. Step six circle allowance additional qualifications where you can specify outside courses skills and awards i have completed a six month computer animation course from the name of institute i am proficient in german and spanish i have learned dot net java and python courses which have helped me in completing a project on banking statistics and my most favorite step seven adjectives where you can use adjective like style, easygoing solution oriented to meet team player creative open-minded enjoy working with others if english is what bothers you then we at english times all page feel privileged to help students advancing their english communication school if you are somebody Feel free to contact in the below details. Now let's go to step 8, which all about hobbies and passions. This is optional. However, using it surely help building the connections with the interviewers. I am trained dancer and the daily riyas has taught me self-discipline and dedication. I am keen runner and this not only helps me keep fit but also helps me network with other runners in the community keep these sections really brief step 9 talks about your family this is an option use it strategically else you can use if the interviewer proposes to know more about your family later on now let's quickly jump on to category number three which is why are you here to understand this let's go to step number 10 which is all about closing you need to keep two points in mind first why are you applying for this job second why are you right fit for this job you can also talk about the future plan connect them to companies goodwill Although I love my control, I feel I am now ready for a more challenging assignment and this position really excites me. 
you can also show your research that you have done about uh -huh. me and add a little bit of flattery to it as well at this point with my passion for sport and my skills of data analytics i wish to work for a leading innovative sports analytics company like you and i do believe i can make a positive impact some rules to follow for step 10 First, read the job description. Second, sound enthusiastic about your position. Now, let me share some final tips. First, write your introduction and include your top selling point. Second, jot down and learn only your key points. Let your answer be in the flow. Third, length of introduction should be up to one minute. Going more than that makes it less appealing. Fourth, maintain eye contact and look confident. If it's panel, look at everyone. Fifth, use a storytelling mode. And last, always sound happy. Let me share a sample introduction which will encompass all the steps that I have described. Good afternoon. Thank you for shortlisting me for this interview. My name is Anita Swai. I am a sales team leader at PQR for the past five years, making significant inroads into new territories with our products. I have worked intensively in both the rural and semi-urban markets, understood the dynamics and built some strong distributor relationships. I am an MBA from XYZ with a strong background in marketing. During work breaks, I enjoy trekking and mountaining. This activity has shown me that good strategy, consistency and determination can help you overcome any obstacle. I am a person who thrives in fast-paced environment and right now I am looking for an opportunity to apply my marketing expertise along with my creative problem-solving skills to an innovative marketing company like yours. I hope you like this video. Do share with the people who you feel need this content. Do subscribe and put in the comments once that you liked. If you need any such videos in future, stay tuned for more. And then take care. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.